Well, in with the new. Out with the old. Goodbye, Camry. You served me long and well. Nine years. So now a story, strange but true. Does life get any better than this? So I called my buddy up last night, June 28, 2010, and says, could I borrow your truck and trailer so I can pick up my free Lumina LTZ and bring it out to the farm? And also, when I had the trailer, then I could take my Squish Camry and get some beer money for it from the scrapyard. Well, lo and behold, he said no. I said, why not? He says, well, I got the day off work tomorrow and I got to go to family court and fight my ex-girlfriend to get better access to my kids. And he says, while I'm in London, I got to take this Cavalier car from my girlfriend's ex-husband to the scrapyard for him. So he said, for that reason, I'm busy with a trailer. And I said, well, what's wrong with the Cavalier? He says, well, it's just fucked. He says, take it to the scrapyard. He lost his license for drinking and driving and he doesn't know what's wrong with it and he doesn't need it anymore. It'll be a while before he gets it back. Well, I said, well, what year is that car? Maybe it's good for the farm. He says, it's 2000. He says, I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm just supposed to take it and junk it. So I said, well, does it still run? He says, I think so. I said, well, then why not donate it to the farm so we can have some fun with it and then we can scrap it. So he says, okay, why not? Uh, good thing you called because uh, the car would have been gone next morning. So I went over the next morning and helped them get the brakes unseized and get it loaded since it's been sitting for more than a year under a bunch of pine trees. Lo and behold, put a booster cable on it and thing fires right up. And I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. I got out to the farm now and I took it for a good drive and thing works perfect. Brakes are rusty as hell. It's a 2000. Got tilt steering. Got remote power door locks and trunk and all that stuff works. CD cassette radio, air works, automatic. I don't know. Maybe he didn't like this thing anymore. Boing. So imagine that. You get a free 98 Lumina and it's very fast. And all I do is go ask to borrow a guy's trailer and end up getting a, another free car. A newer one, 2000 Cavalier with even lower miles. And all I did was put a battery in it. I haven't done anything else to it. I haven't even washed it. They're both as dirty as hell because they both came from under pine trees. What is it with Canada? Nobody likes to drive cars that are more than 10 years old. Maybe that'll make us feel like some sort of American or something if we're driving old cars. I don't know what it is. Look at all the dirt in that windshield. Now this car, works perfect. Just, you can feel the brake pedal thumping because it sat for a year and a half. Just rust. That's not a scratch in the window. That's because it just happens to be missing a wiper blade. How could I get lucky? That lucky two days in a row. And the tunes work perfect too. It's got dual beer holders. And it's even got. Oh, come on. Open. Another company called a secret drink holder for the hardcore stuff. <laughs> Gee, I'm going to wash this car and see how nice it actually does look. Worst investor title. And then I'm going to wash that one. Look at all the money that he spent and wasted. Sources cool. are saying that Bono 2s, they cost him nearly $1 million to set up and tear down that huge... Something funny about the radio. Going. Keeps going after the key's out. They can afford to cancel the show and, and the door's open. On and Bono? Maybe that's why the car was fucked. Oh well. Medium. And this beast was supposed to have a tranny problem. But me and Rick took it for a drive, and it works perfect. Look at all that gunk on the car. It needs a good wash, too. I'll prove it.
YouTube don't like that. And of course the air works. You can tell by the tack it's just shifting normal. Window is dirty as hell. Squirrel footprints and cat footprints all over it. And it's got the same feeling, a rusty, thumpy brake pedal. They both got a little less than half a tank of gas. Except this one's only got one beer holder. Oh well, I guess I'll have to like the other car better. For those long distance trips, you know. And this thing's even got power seats at work. It's got every option, except the sunroof, but probably didn't come with that. Serious balls, when you punch it, it launches. Holy shit, is this thing fast. 200 horse in front wheel drive. Gotta slow down, we're gonna lose it. Those rusty brakes are barely stopping me. <sighs> Made it. And you know what? Neither car has a single rust hole in the body anywhere. Sweet. And now to get those... And now to get that 13 horse Honda pressure washer and bring these cars back to life. See what they look like. At least when they didn't have mud and dirt and tree debris on them. Up to the washing station. Nice. Well, a good pressure washing with 13 horsepower Honda power and 3500 PSI. And this is what you get. Well, what you get for free at least, if you're Canadian. They sure look pretty good. Still both shiny like new. I guess being under a tree and covered in dirt and out of the sun keeps things protected so they stay shiny. And both all original paint. Wee bit of rust. And oh, the hubcaps for the Cavalier. They're in the trunk. See? Interior in this car is in good shape too, but kind of dirty. <laughs> Not bad for just asking to borrow a trailer. And this guy mentioned this car because I got a Chevy Ack. Sweet. Three Chevys in a week. Wow. Cool.